Hey everybody, welcome to another rant time with Klaus. Um, I understand that it's like a bit early from my last rant, feminazism and double standards, but this is something that just happened very recently to my yes. to my beautiful special guest, as you can see. Hey guys, and this is something that I normally act like this in a rant, and. pissed off something very terrible happened to me earlier today and I'm just not having a good day and it's all thanks to a mo to the motherfucking Peter Thompson aka butterscotch fireheart his name in Google plus or hang out you can say so basically, this motherfucker decided that he was so goddamn fucking important that he had to, like, call him, or, call her, I'm sorry, call her over and over again until she picks up. Like, and she, and she was busy, like, with editing her video, like, she was also recording her video at the time. Yeah, this happens today, because I, after I got home from work... Before that happened, well, earlier at times, <sighs> and I, when I was about to get this recorded, he just come, just wanted to message me and just come up to call me on Hangouts, like right away while I was busy doing stuff, it's, even while I was recording and all the editing, and <sighs> and this really really bothers me. And it really pisses me off as well. It's like, what? You're too goddamn impatient to wait for her to relax? You're too goddamn impatient and you're you're so goddamn fucking important that you can just wait until she was done editing her fucking video for crying out fucking loud? Yeah. You, you know, that is so fucking rude of you, Peter. He... I told you many times already. When I'm busy with stuff, don't fucking calling me. And where you want because that I mean, should know better, Peter. So stop doing this to me. And this affected me too. Like I tried to bring up some points. I tried to remain calm about the situation. I was like, hey, uh, you know this thing you're doing. Okay, that's not something I would do as a respectable person, and I get. He just told me to shut up. This really surprises me, and when he told, when Peter told you to shut up, and I was like, Peter, don't you talk to Klaus like that? He's just so sensitive. Not to mention, and I, why, I, why I, you, and, and that, 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 why don't you shut up? Okay, not to mention, I actually did try to address him in a mature and respectable way. A calm yeah, and mature this, way. That is true. I mean, just want to point this out because, you know, whatever I'm busy is up. <sighs> Peter, I, after about almost nine years <clears throat> that I've been fr friends with, then all of a sudden, you backstabbed us. I, I don't want to, I'm sorry, but I can't trust you anymore. I'm sorry. Yeah, after nine years of being a friend, he decided to become King Shit of Turd Mountain. And and losing his interest in um in gaming. <laughs> I mean, which I'm like really disappointed in, you know, and because he's just doing stuff. And even and what's re really unpleasant of him, you know, whatever he just draws some ponies right here. He's a brony, by the way. He draws some. For ponies that, she, that he draws right here, or any female that is showing boobs out there, and it's, it's really t distracts me. I mean, I do I do I need to see this shit in here? No, <laughs> X and A, no way. I pretty much ignored a good portion of his. Drawings, I hear quotes because I don't consider that art. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Oh, here's another thing about Peter, what he does. Hey, another thing, though. He's also, um, whatever he does, it's just making him, like, really upset or anything. Well, not upset, but he upset me at first. He decided to tell his parents on me. I mean, um, and then at the, his last messages, he told me to block me just by three times. Block me, block me, block me. I mean, that is so fucking immature of him. Bill Mature of you, but Bill Mature, uh, I'm sorry, I, I can't even talk right. Bill Mature of you, PETA, P-E-T-A, that's what I'm going to refer to you as now on. PETA, people for the ethical treatment of animals. You know why, Peter. You know why. Great, great all you want there, cause whatever's in the net really pisses us off. I mean, whoever does something worse. I mean, like she upset you. Boo! Fucking who? You piss her off so many, way more times than I can count. <sighs> like you just came up to her and like said all this nonsense, and you have the gall to say he upset you? <sighs> you grow her to tears, asshole! Yeah, I mean, what the fuck is your problem, Peter? I mean, that is totally unacceptable, and you should be ashamed of yourself. And, and that really just, and you absolutely have no respect, um, for me. Well, and neither your siblings here, even your your little sister, wherever she screams like it, she's eight years old, and you're 21. You have, I mean, you have to grow up. You're 21 years old. Like, especially, and take this into consideration too. I have a nephew that is in his teen years. Like, he does something like I'm not okay with, or he touches something like. Say, for example, my, the Bullet Bill plushie, or my Venom mug. I ask him not to touch it, but I do so in a calm and sensible way. I don't just bludgeonly yell at him. True. Exactly. I mean, even though your your, your nephew is kind of, uh, um, um, a, a little bit annoying when just knocking the door many times, but he's... This is a cool friend to have. I mean, I just do respect him even when he's, even when he does something wrong. I just be more patient. Just be more patient with him. Mm -hmm. But you, Peter, you seem to be impatient and you get to like yelling at her. She's a fucking child, Peter. That is She's unacceptable. A fucking child. You don't yell at a kid. I don't care what the circumstances. You don't scream at a kid. Exactly. Whatever you're busy with stuff, just using your calm voice and whatever she just likes to aggravate you, just calm the fuck down. Okay? Especially if a young kid is like, asks me like, hey, can I have your pull-up plushie? Like, the proper thing would be to say, uh, no, like, I, you can't have my plushie or say like, uh, no, I'm, I, not gonna give you the plushie, but perhaps like maybe for your birthday I can get you one of these. Yeah, um, I would do the same way too. You know, um, whatever she does, asking me, can can I have? If, uh, ask me if you wanted one of my plushies. Um, you can um, I got it from the comic store or whatever, something in a mall. If you want, I will give you one. That would be but the then, much more mature and sensible way to handle yeah. it. But no, Peter, what would what would you do? You you screamed at her. Then, no. I mean, yeah, the way he handled it is like, like no, you cannot have this plushie. That would be like that is not gonna help at all. Mm. All it does. Right, that's sensitive. I mean, she's. I just tell him this over and over again. All it does is hurt the girl. It sends her to tears, potentially. I mean, I mean, Peter, 
It's totally despicable of you. Where the hell is your respect? Peter, you are despicable. I mean, grow up. You're 21 years old. Exactly. Like, granted, I'm three years older than he is, but I got a lot more maturity than that. Sam has You're a lot more actually... maturity than that. Hell, my yeah. nephews have a lot more maturity than that. And my yeah. uh, my youngest nephew is like 10 years old. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm a year older than him. I'm currently 22. And I would, um, <clears throat> um, I always give respect to anybody else, even, um, being gentle with kids. Exactly. It's, uh, oh my god. Peter, you should not become a parent anytime soon. Not until yeah. you balanced yourself a lot better. Like, there's a word I'm looking for, but... It has to do with bettering his maturity. Yeah, I mean... I mean, he acts like a child. I do... I mean... I do not like the fact that he's just giving me the attitude. I mean, it's... So basically, like, he thinks his shit doesn't stink. Yeah, I mean, kept telling him that many times, and, you know, just to, um, want him to calm down or anything, or just get along with his siblings, especially his older brother who is severely autistic. He never, he's never listening to me. He never do his parents. He never listens to his parents. Well, if he doesn't listen to his parents, how can you expect him to listen to anyone else? Yeah, and this happens to me him in um s sometime in several months ago. Um, not not all the time though. But um, computer just got along really fine here. But um, <clears throat> around March or April, this is what happens to me in a, in a fight. But now, I'm totally done with here. I'm not gonna be friends with after about nine years. I'm no longer gonna be friends with him anymore. I, I can't. I haven't been friends with him nearly as long as you have, but I'm done with him as well. I'm, I'm done with you as well, Peter. You know what? Yeah. There, I only have one thing to say to you, Peter. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, you see that, Peter? The horns and the finger. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> And that's real, um, and one more thing that, um, that I know is, um, after all, I was just, like, given that one message, just really, just really pissed, yeah, pissed off message, whatever I told you, I no respect, and, um, after when he's replied to me, guess what? What? He blocked me on, he blocked me on Wii U. Oh, real mature. Okay, you don't have any reason to block her. If anything, she has reason to block you. Yeah. Just like I did, just recently. Here on Skype and on Hangouts. Yeah, just both, yeah. I haven't blocked you on Wii U yet, but after this goes up, I will. Yeah. Mark my yeah, words, I I'm will. Re I'm really done with you. I'm, I really am. Just, don't worry, when I go to bed, I won't have to worry about him anymore. I'm going to be fine. Just here to have fun with you and my other friends as well. Just... Moving on to the past. Oh, well, 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 not the past. I mean, moving on, just moving on and just let go. Of moving on to the, the future, past. moving on from the past is what she's trying to say. Yes. So don't judge me. What I was just staking my grandma. Yeah, I know. I was just trying to save it to the viewers. 
I know. Thanks anyway. Well, we got, that's, that's all we have to say here. Yeah, that, that about wraps things up. So, Peter Thompson, go fuck yourself. You don't want anything to do with you anymore. I'm sorry, but we bo both of us were done with your bullshit. Yeah, I'm, I had it with you. Know, we had enough of your bullshit, Peter. <sighs> well, that, well, that felt good to get a kick out of my chest. Yep, same here. This don't no worries about me, cause next day will be a good day. Yeah, a thoroughly pleasant day. Yeah. Well, anyway, thank you for watching this edition of Rant Time with Klaus. This is in oh Klaus. And Mario your fan girl night. And we will catch you later. Peace out. See you guys.